and the like. Ross Booth has followed uh, the Stangers into the rooms. A few more interviews for us. That's right. Well, John Murphy's uh, wiped the smile on his face. He's now trying to keep the lid on it. So we've got Zach Badrock, who's... Uh, unfortunately been injured for much of the second half of the year and so you're going to miss a grand final but it was a great effort by the boys oh it's fantastic to be in the in the first division final yeah it's a bit, bit of dis disappointment to miss out on it but what a fantastic feeling just how they can go on with it now it, it was fantastic wasn't it and uh you really give yourself a chance against the Zebras, I suppose you would. Oh, uh, you know, we, we were a bit down last week and only lost by a goal, and I think if the boys play to their potential, I think they can go all the way, for sure. OK, right, and thanks, uh, Zach. And here's one of the men behind the scenes, Frank yeah, Picazio, who yeah. coached the VFA. Yeah. The, the, you coached the VFA successfully this year, the under-19 side, and uh, I believe you're, you know, you're one of the mastermind behind this, this side. Is that true? Oh, I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know about that. Just the boys have worked very hard, and we've um, put in a lot of work over the last, really, four years here at Box Hill, hoping to get to this, this level. And, um, well, we've got to the next step, and next week, if the boys, you know, put in the same way they have done through the year, we'll do very well. OK, formerly of Paran, of course, too. I'm no, uh, very disappointed about very that. Very disappointed. Now, <laughs> you've been hoarse, you've been yelling at the umpires, have you? No, no, I've got, just got the flu. <laughs> OK, he's got the flu. OK, well, uh, as I said, uh, John Murphy and there talking to the players. They've got to keep, the, uh, keep it under control for next week, which should be a great grand final. Yes, Ross, and a final word on Springvale. Uh, they were the last team to beat Sandringham this season. Sandy going for 11 straight wins next week uh, in 94 to collect the Vic Safe Cup. But uh, Springvale, the last part of the season, it just petered away for them and unfortunately two preliminary final losses in a row. Well, they do, and Sam and I talk about this all the time. They are just fractionally undermanned. You know, it's a problem when you've got to juggle Dyson Holland around to your, to your back line.